Oh my god! Oh. Is that flick prawn right in the corner of his mouth? Fish until I lose this flick prawn, see how many fish I can get on it. What the wall? Oh. This one's huge! Look at how good this is. Oh. got the micro kayak set up today. It is a beautiful morning. We've got our Sharky 3 combo right here. And we have got our Chase Baits super lifelike shrimp, flick prawn, whatever you want to call it. Let's get something done today, guys. I'm super excited. I haven't been out on the kayak in a long time, actually. Look what happens start off fishing these docks and try and get a little pattern going for today. Uh, there's nothing here worth your life, the sign says. Um, I don't know. <gasps> yeah, there is. Yeah, there is. No way. Nice snook. Nice freaking snook. <gasps> Tarpon! No way! Yeah, there is. <laughs> That's worth my life right there. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Nice one. Nice one. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at these jumps. Oh. That's a nice one. To start off the day right. I'll tell you that much. All right, buddy. Chill, chill, chill. Chill, 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 chill. You're in the net. Oh my God, I got the whole bite on video. That was a crazy fight, getting him out of that dock. Still got the flick prone on there somehow. I'm shaking. I haven't caught a tarpon in so long, guys. That is beautiful. Beautiful freaking fish. I'm gonna get a picture of this guy in the back. Oh my god! Well, there he goes. I really wanted to get a quick look at him for you guys, but they are just they got so much freaking energy in them. God. My heart is racing right now. That is a great way to start off the morning, guys. Unfortunately, I didn't get a good look at him for the camera but we are gonna catch some more, so it doesn't matter. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So I'm gonna start off at the exact same dock here. That was a beautiful tarpon. I really wish I could get a better look at him next time, so let's try and catch a couple more. No way! Another one? Another one? Another one? This one's way bigger though. I don't know if I'm gonna keep him on. He's way back in there. Oh my god. It's a nice one. This one's definitely bigger. I'll tell you that much. got 30 pound test. Oh my gosh. God. He's still on there somehow. I thought he would have broken off quickly. Oh my God. He 
he's too far back. This little kayak is making it all. Oh. oh, there he goes. Oh, took my freaking shrimp. Oh my gosh. No. Look at that leader, guys. I really didn't have a chance with them. I did for a minute, but he took off way too fast and got way too far under there. I should have just kept the track super loose. All right, guys. So we paddled pretty far here. Um, something ate the tail off of my last flick prawn, unfortunately. And then, as you guys saw, that big tarp and broke me off. Kept him on for a while though. I didn't think he would stay on for that long. Since it dragged me in those docks. It was just a really impossible angle for me to get him. But now we are like fishing some urban bridges. I don't know guys, should I go under? doesn't go up and I get blocked out of here or something. I'm gonna make this quick over here. So guys, we're down to our last flick run, unfortunately. And he's missing a tail. But I honestly think it's such a good looking bait, they'll hit it anyways. You know, lower profile, still looks like a shrimp. But this does look like a very, uh, I don't know, like a very good, like, tarpon looking spot for some reason. It's just super still backwater. No! That was a huge ass freaking spider. So I'm kind of just like sitting on my knees now. I'm able to. Get a little bit of leverage. This kayak is not stable enough. The problem is with this kayak and fishing and actually like catching big fish from it, especially on these docks, is that it's literally half the weight of my red kayak. My red kayak's super light too. So, I mean, this thing gets dragged so quick and you really can't do anything to stop the fish, especially on these deep docks. I was gonna bring my anchor stick, but I figured these docks would be a little too deep for that anyways. So you really can't do much about it. I mean, you try to paddle against them, but it's kind of hard to hold the rod and do all that at once. No, 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 no. I don't know if it was a snook or a tarpon. It could have even been a, like a big red or trout, I don't know. Something came up on the shrimp so hard. And we're ready for him. We got the 40 pound one. No, man, I missed the bite, but I got a monster snook on. A monster freaking snook on. Oh my gosh, I thought the GoPro was on. Oh my god, no, 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 no. 
Oh no 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 no! I need to get him out of that tree. I need to get him out of that tree. I need to get him out of that tree. Oh my god! Nice freaking fish. We gotta get him away from that freaking dock. No, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, turn him, turn him, turn him, turn him, turn him, turn him. Turn him. Oh my God, he's still on. He's still freaking on. Oh. He's not a monster, but he's giant. Oh. That's a freaking toad on a half shrimp. Dude, they don't care if it's cut in half. This thing slays either way. Oh, it only took a second. That is a solid snook. It's probably like a 28, 30 incher. Look at that, guys. On the flick prawn right there in the corner of his mouth. That is beautiful right there. Let me get him back in the water. Whew. This guy put up a really good fight, I'll tell you that much. Suck on my thumb for a second. Oh yeah, you're ready to go. Oh yeah, you're ready to go. There she comes. How about that? Three tarpon, or two tarpon hookups. Um, landed one, landed a snook. We are down to our last flick prawn. It's cut in half but it's still producing snook, obviously. So we're gonna keep fishing, tie on a new leader, and stick to this pattern. All right, we've got a new leader, and we're still fishing with the half flick prawn shrimp right here. This thing is still getting the job done. I'm not gonna switch it up because why? If it's not broke, don't fix it. Even though it's broke, it's still working. I don't know though. There's something about this shrimp that I think is just like ridiculous. I might just be like super confident in it. So I'm actually gonna start trying to fish this dock again because this is where I lost. They're not lost. This is where I hooked this snuck out of. There could be a little school of them back in here. Oh, it's a littler one. Oh, what? Hold the hook. There are so many snook under this one dog. Oh my god. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm on. Oh my god. They're all small. All right, I think I kind of beat this dock enough, but I just know there's another one back there that's going to spike right now. I just know it. Got him! Yeah, they're all about this size. Not even 20 inches. That is crazy though. You guys saw that bite. They just keep hitting it like on the way out of the dock. There is another beautiful, beautiful snook on the flick prawn right in his mouth. This bait works amazingly. I think they're only $10. I'll have a link in the description for them. Um, I think they're like $10 per shrimp. I think they're well worth it because of how long they last. And if you're gonna buy like a bunch of shrimp, you might as well you could pretty much get the same use out of these artificials. And I'm pretty sure they'd stay on a little bit longer if I put a little corkscrew on the hook too. 
But yeah, that's another little beautiful snook. Probably only like a 16 incher, but super, super fun. Another one, another one. This one's a little bit better. <gasps> a sheep's head? Are you kidding me? On artificial? What? No way. That's insane. Oh my God, I gotta get a picture of this thing. Look at that. This little sheep's head crushed this freaking shrimp. Maybe you're the one who took the tail off of it. These guys are very, very good eating fish, by the way. Oh god, he's got teeth. Look at his teeth in there. Great tasting fish, guys. This guy is obviously way too small to keep. And right now I'm just having fun, so I'm gonna toss him back. It's crazy how many different species you can catch with the flickron. Now, right now, I don't know if this is part of the slam, but we've got our tarpon and our snook for the slam, and now a sheep's head. So maybe you can see a redfish or trout and get the triple crown. This guy's beautiful. Oh my god, he's splashing. I'm gonna throw this thing in there one more time. There's all kinds of stuff. I didn't know that sheep's head was chilling or that one would bite. That's pretty insane. The thing is about this flick prawn is Literally, you can catch anything on it. <laughs> Even though something chomped off the tail, it's still catching fish. <laughs> and it does weed out the smaller fish because when you're fishing live bait, you're gonna feed like half your baits to like pinfish and stuff like that. Catfish. For some reason, we're only catching game fish with this thing and it's working out great. Oh my god. Oh, he came off. That snook literally wrapped me around that pylon, came out the other side of it, had me screwed. Didn't let him break me off. I almost got him back, but he threw the hook and jumped over there. I still got my shrimp. No rattle, no tail, still catching snook. Insane. absolutely blown away by how good chase baits has made their flick prawns guys i still have the bait i've caught like 20 fish on it at least over that now and i still got it with me so huge shout out to chase baits awesome freaking lures check them out and also a shout out to cast king rods and reels this is the <clears throat> this is the sharky three combo that i've been using 15 pound braid it's been working pretty gang pretty dang good for us today i think that about wraps up today guys <laughs> i still got my flick prawn i'm super hot super tired running out of water so i'm gonna pretty much call it quits you'll get a slurpee or something to cool off 